What's going on, everyone? So, Rui Hachimura, Cam Reddish, and Jared Vanderbilt, along with Gabe Vincent still, are all very likely out. Now, Cam Reddish is questionable for today's game at the time of recording this video. No word on if he's actually going to play or not. My guess is the Lakers probably proceed with caution. Um, but given that Rui is out at least a week, uh, and that's just before he gets reevaluated, it's very likely he's out longer, maybe even like two, three weeks. Uh, he's dealing with uh, a nasal fracture that he just had a procedure on. So we'll see, right? But given that Rui is going to miss some time, and he's been a huge part for the Lakers, his role and minutes have been very inconsistent, but he himself has been very consistent. I mean, you can make an argument he's been our most consistent guy given the role and opportunity uh, next to LeBron James, right? I mean, he's been fantastic and has had some really big games for the Lakers. And you're seeing that dynamic with him and LeBron James, that two-man game that they're that they're running. Rui was working with LeBron all offseason, and you're already seeing the growth and the improvements in Rui Hachimura. And he's a guy that I hope you know is here for the long run. Um, if the Lakers make a trade, it's very likely that it's going to be uh, including Rui Hachimura. So this could be an opportunity for the Lakers to kind of look and see, like, how does this team look without him? Right? Is a Christian Wood stepping up? Um, no, do, like is somebody else stepping up? Like, what is what is the way that we're gonna approach this if we were to say swap a Rui Hachimura for like a DeMar DeRozan or a Zach Levine? Obviously, you have to include more than Rui, but you get my point. Like him as a package or him as the centerpiece, right? Now it's like, okay, well, can we match his size? Okay, well, Christian Wood stepping up, there you go. Things like that could really help. But hopefully Cam Reddish returns because Rui is out, so maybe the Lakers kind of get him in there, um, but if they don't, again, you could kind of do it by committee, you could go the the route and approach of like, hey, we'll move and play AD at the four some more, right, maybe get Jackson Hayes some more minutes at the five, uh, get Christian Wood, he's a guy that could go there, maybe you run a little small, put like a Torian Prince at the four, right, maybe a Brian LeBron is 36, 40 minutes, which I hope not. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But another option, role and opportunity, would be to give one of the young guys a, a real opportunity here. Give him a chance and see. Like, let him get some run. Let him get some minutes. And Maxwell Lewis, I think, is a guy that could really kind of answer the bell. Right? I'm not expecting him to come in and be like the superstar for the Lakers or anything like that. But he's a 6'7" hyper athlete that could come in, play some defense. He's shown some real flashes on the defensive side of the basketball, uh, his ability to shoot the basketball, as well as just use that athleticism to get to the rim, right? All of these things could be very valuable, especially if you're missing a Cam Reddish, a Rui Hachimura, a, a Jared Vanderbilt, right? We could use some youth, some athleticism, 21 years old, right? This is a guy that I do think could come in and Again, I'm not expecting him to play 20 to 30 minutes a game, but I do think you could play him at the two, you could play him at the three. You know, again, small ball, play him at the four maybe and kind of give him some looks and just maybe you know, run and gun a little bit here with a Maxwell Lewis. Um, now, he hasn't really seen the court. Uh, he's had some like garbage time minutes, but like he hasn't really seen the court for the Lakers uh, in, in any type of significance to where it's like we, we have a, a way to kind of judge him um, and, and have an idea of how impactful he could be. But I do think, like, if you were ever going to do it, now would kind of be the time. Your, your wing depth is basically non-existent right now. And it's like, instead of playing, like, Torrey and Prince and all these guys, like, 40 minutes a game while you're on this four-game road trip, why not throw out the young guy, give him some opportunity, and let's see. You know, keep a tight leash on him. If he's, you know, fumbling the ball and just just costing us the game and stuff, like, then yeah, pull him out immediately. But I don't really think that he's going to to hurt the Lakers in any way. Right? And and the hope is that he he kind of sees this opportunity as a kid who's wet behind the ears and is like, hey, like, let me, let, let's do this, right? And maybe he catches fire, hits a couple big threes or something, you know, or or steps up and, and just is a lockdown defender for the Lakers. We saw what happened with Cam Reddish. Now, obviously, Cam Reddish has more experience, things like that, but still, like, you never know 
what can happen until you actually give these guys an opportunity. You, know, you brought him on the team, you drafted him because you liked him and you believed that he could be a guy that could really have an impact on this team at some point. Kind of in this weird position, why not just kind of roll the dice a little bit? I, again, I don't want to see Darvin Ham playing him 40 minutes or if he's struggling, right? Like you want him to play a little bit and it is kind of a fine line. Right, like how much do you continue to let him fill it out and and kind of play through the struggle? But if it's like if we have like a seven point lead and teams are targeting him and that's starting to whittle away and he's kind of like the one weak point and and you got to make that change, make that change. But if he's out there and he's holding his own and he's playing and he's working hard and he's doing the things that are are necessary for him to be on the court. Why not? Right? Again, he's a basketball player. He's an NBA player. You know, you drafted him with that idea of him having a huge significance. Oh, worst case, maybe it raises his trade value a little bit to to go make that win now move, right? To go get like a, a, a DeMar DeRozan or a Zach Levine or something like that. Maybe Chicago sees him and he's playing well and it's like, hey, like, let's go get Maxwell Lewis, right? Like, I don't know. I, I, I just. I see it as like a low risk, high reward, right? Like you put him in, if he plays well, great. It's just another rotation piece. And when everyone comes back, you can send him back to the G League. It's not a big deal. But if he's playing poorly, well then, you know, you just don't play him, <laughs> right? It's not like he's a, a huge significant piece that is like he's going to be frustrated if he's not getting NBA minutes, not even expecting to play at all. But we saw, like, Max Christie have big moments in his rookie year. We saw Austin Reeves have some real moments in his rookie year, right? Even this year, seeing Max Christie get some run because Cam Reddish and guys like that are out. So let's start Max Christie. He he can get after it defensively. He can hit the open shot, like, all of those things. Well, so can Maxwell Lewis. Maxwell Lewis is a little bigger, more athletic, right? Like, why not put him out there? Let's... Try to inject some youth and, and kind of lean on that a little bit. Like I mentioned, like why not try to go a little run and gun here? LeBron still got it. Like why don't why don't you put like LeBron out there or if Jalen Hood Shafino comes back, right? Why not? Bro Jalen Hood Shafino, uh Max Christie, uh, you know, Maxwell Lewis, put Jackson Hayes out there and Tori and Prince or something like that, and just play some fast pace. You know, five wide offense. See what that looks like. You know, again, I'm not saying you have to play it heavily. I'm not saying you you play that 25 minutes a game or anything. Like that. I mean, obviously, if it's working and it's killing it, then yeah, stick with it. But if it's if it's you know like working well and it's keeping in the game, then you know if that can just be something to kind of get LeBron some rest, get AD some rest, get some other guy some rest. I don't hate the idea. Right? You brought these guys in to, to be pieces of this organization. Let them be pieces of the organization. That's the whole point. You know, the the hope was that guys would be healthy. And if we were missing, you know, if Rui was out, it's okay. We got Jared Vanderbilt. We got, you know, uh, uh, Cam Reddish. Got you know, Christian Wood. You got all these guys. We're fine. We weren't really expecting Rui to be out. Oh, and Jared Vanderbilt. Oh, and Cam Reddish. Oh, and Gabe Bits. Like, it's like, come on. Like, can we get a little break here? Right? And you and you put in Max Christie to be a guy that can, can be a 3 and D player for the Lakers. Uh, he had the tough task of guarding Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie was torching him. But, again, that was to be expected. Right? So, why not go with a Maxwell Lewis? And let him let him see what the kids got. I don't see him doing anything that's above his means. Like I don't see him going out there and trying to play hero ball and be Kobe out there. Right? Like I don't see him doing anything other than like what he's asked. Want me to play some defense? Sure, I'll get after it on the defensive side. I'll show my hustle. I'll show my athleticism. I'll work hard. Hey, got the open shot. I'll, I'll take it. Knock it down. Right not settle, drive to the basket on the occasion. 
I, I just I could see him having a real impact uh, in in these like small little moments, right? And interject him methodically, right? Like I, I wouldn't start him. I wouldn't do anything like that. But got to get Prince, and you got to get Christy, and you got to get some of these guys some rest. And it's like, well, what do we do here, right? Like. We don't have Rui, you don't have Reddish, you don't have Vando, you don't have um Vincent. Are you just gonna are you just gonna what? Ride D'Lo and Reeves and LeBron and AD and all these guys 36 to 40 minutes a game? I just you, you gotta get guys some rest. You gotta get guys some just a breather, right? Because what's gonna happen is then you're gonna end up running the risk getting those guys hurt. Now it's like, okay, well, yeah, great, we got Rui back. Oh, great, we got Reddish back, but now, you know, Reeves and D'Lo and LeBron and AD, because we've been running them 40 minutes a game, they're all hurt now. It's just, why? You know, that's why you have these guys. He, like, Maxwell Lewis is young enough to where you can you can lean on him a little bit, right? Go with the youth movement a little bit. I'm not expecting him to, to come in and, and give you 15 to 20 points a game. But can he give us six to eight points, right? Can he hit a three or two, uh, you know, game for a couple games for a little stretch until we're waiting for Cam Reddish to get back? You know, can he do that? I don't think it's that far fetched. I don't think it's impossible, right? I'm sure there'll be a little bit of nerves, a little bit of like, oh, like here's my moment, and you know, I'm sure he's not gonna want to mess stuff up, and I'm sure he'll have the occasional just mishap or turnover or whatever, I'm okay with that, right? Especially now it's early in the season. If you were ever going to kind of like try to ride these young guys, now would be the time. Build their confidence, get them excited, get them kind of acclimated. And Because what if you need them again later on? No, it's just, just a thought. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think like, yeah. Why not give Lewis an opportunity? Let's see what he's got. Give him, you know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. I, I, I'm not expecting him to play 20, 30 minutes. I mean, again, if he's killing it, right? Like, what if he is like six or seven from three or something? Like that? Then, yeah, keep the kid out there. Let him play 30 minutes. Like, if he's out there and he's locking down defensively and he's just in the zone and he's lighting it up, sure, right? But realistically, put him out there, give him like 10 minutes and see what he can do. Right, and then do it again, and you know, build up this kid's confidence. Right? What if he does progress? What if he does do well? So, just a thought. But again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions. However you feel about it, down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Lets me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.